whenever the guy on the bottom is trying to play a half guard, he wants to be on his side and he definitely wants an underhook and he wants to be down towards my leg as much as possible. Here I can't really even like go for guillotines and stuff because if I do commit, I've got no post, he can just like roll me over or something. Like. Whereas when he's up here, I can start working this stuff and I feel pretty good because I can sort of stretch out a bit. That's not a real good guillotine to go for, but people do grab your head and it does hurt a lot. So, the things that people are doing well is definitely putting me flat on my back, not allowing me to roll in by using a cross face, and they're really trying to stop me from getting this underhook. If I've got the underhook, that's awesome, but if I, if I can't get it, I at least stop him. So if I can just catch a bit of an elbow, there. I don't have a true underhook, but he doesn't have one, and that's all that matters. I just don't want him to have one. And I've got my weight nice and low. If they're starting to play a, like a, they're trying to grab my knee or something, or come under my leg, yeah, if I, if I think they're one of those sorts of people, like a deep half guy, or like a tenth planet guy, then I'll definitely try and put my knee in real close and just pinch. So you can see what I'm doing, I'm pinching my knees together because he's going to try and feed his hand in to do like a electric chair or go for some sort of deep half attack. So, but again, the main things that shut this down are keeping the cross face and keeping the underhook from happening. So you guys are doing a really good job of keeping me flat on my back, keeping me here, but the next step will be getting out of here and getting to side control or, or mount. Right, so what I want you to do next is look at getting your head on the other side of their head. Right, I've still got to keep this, and I've still got to keep him on his back. So what I'm gonna do is try and like grab under his arm to, to pull him up, to stop him from rolling. I'm gonna put my head here and use the head as the cross face now. So, got my underhook, I've got this to pull up, and I've got my head drawing him, and now I'm going to start picking, putting this foot on the ground, and lifting, trying to walk my knee out of this leg, right? When it's out, so see my knee's showing now? I'm gonna push it to the ground, but I'm still doing the same thing. I'm really driving in with everything I got into his head to keep him twisted, so he can't roll on his side. And I'm pushing up high with this underhook to really shut him down. And this here, it feels good, but I think it's just icing on the cake, really. Pulling up here. So now, my foot's not gonna come out straight this way. You're gonna get a better view from over here. If you stand behind. You see, I can't get my foot out like, like this, right? I'm just gonna let go of the control now. Just keep, keep your knees pinched right. The foot's not gonna come out like that. What you gotta do is change the shape by pushing that knee down. Now my foot's like that, it's gonna start coming out easier. And if he's really, really tight pinching, I can use that just to get that pass a little bit to get my knee through. And then come to a nice side control. And I'll keep this underhook and I like to pop his head up under my knee. Just so he's always got a twist in his spine. Because whenever they've got a twisted spine, they're, they're a little bit weaker. So again. Everyone's doing a really good job of shutting me down with the cross face and the underhook. But the next step, be taking the head, putting it onto this side and using that to get that cross face effect. Pull up tight, start walking that knee out. Kick it down to the side. Keep that, you just really want to keep that nice twisting thing as I'm driving my hips through because I want my weight on this side. If I'm too high up here, he's just going to push me over. Yep. So it really is about sliding the weight through as I push his head back. Okay, I've rotated my foot to get it out. It's just going to come out that time, but if it doesn't, push, kick from here. Really tight side control. Can even drop the leg down to, to get that weight, but I've got his head and his arm trapped here. Alright, so, you know, we're in half guard. I've managed to get the other hook. Alright, what I'm going to do is this outside leg, I'm going to just get a hook. Alright, if you're not flexible enough to get a hook, it's going to plant it on the ground, dip out a little bit, create a little bit of space, and then it's a lot easier to get. Okay? From here I've got a lot of control. I don't actually need this second foot, right? Because, you know, if your hook's 
developed at all, you, sh you should be quite confident here. All, right, all I'm going to do is tuck my head inside, all right, and now I have a lot of control over Brian's body. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him pressure, like I'm going to sweep him this way, all right, which will often get the reaction of him putting a lot of weight coming back this way. Through this leg. Yeah, through, through that leg that I've elevated. As he comes back, I'm going to, sorry, stop a second. I'm going to, with this hand, I'm going to, with my free hand, I'm going to push his other leg up and scoot underneath. So go. Coming out. Alright, from here, I'm going to lock my hands together, extend my hooking leg, and scoot round. We'll be back. And that wasn't as graceful as it was with Amy. But, I'll be back and make it true. Again. Up go. I've managed to get the underhook. I don't care if they've got the overhook or not. But I'm just going to flip out a little bit. Pull. And then tuck my head. Right, I'm going to start elevating the swing. To the air press. Correct. Find the next. Scoot round. And take your back. And you can put them behind your head like Dan was before if you want. Just put them in your stomach. Or if you trust yourself. No cheating, just keep them here, but just don't use them. And all we're going to do is Ryan's going to try and pass, and I'm going to try and keep the guard. You know, we're, not, we're not doing, you know, we're doing proper, you know, proper jiu you know, Della Eva, you know, proper techniques. We're not using the S. 